Welcome to the latest episode of the miniature painting series. Today, we'll cover the steps to paint Manus, Father of the Abyss. This is the mega boss of the expansion and a super fun miniature to paint. This miniature turned out very close to the results of the in-game monster, so I hope you enjoy. To start this project, you need the following colors. The first step, as usual, is priming the miniature. And if you still have any questions on how to do that, don't forget to check the how to paint your miniature guide. Apart from that, if you're liking this series, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. The second step to paint this miniature is painting the fur base, and for that we'll mix Macridge Blue with a little bit of Abaddon Black to darken the tone, and Thousand Sun Blue to increase the saturation of the color. Once it's done, we will dry brush it on different parts of the model. The big hand, the tail of the model, both thighs and a little patch of fur on the right shoulder. For the next step, we are going to use long beard grey to paint the top parts of the horn. We will dry brush it all the way. When dry brushing, don't forget to clean well your brush before starting to avoid staining your model. On this step, you will need a lot of patience because it's a long process, but the results are pretty cool. When dry brushing, leave the black parts of the model visible to have a mix of black and white colors that constitutes the nice texture of the horns. We'll do the same for the face and rib cage, but in a lighter tone, just by dry brushing less times on these areas. You can see that the rib cage is done. You also have nice shades on the top and sides of the monster. For the next step, we will darken a bit things with no oil. This will bring more contrast between the highlights and the shadows of the horns. I painted all over the white horns except the front horns that we will paint differently later. You can see it in the manual that the front horns are greener than the others. To achieve this tone, we will mix some Drakenhof Nightshade with Cassandra Yellow. The reason why I'm not using other green shades that I have is to have more control over the tone of green that I want to achieve. Once the shade is mixed, I apply the horns, and the gray dry brush will absorb the shade, leaving it in the green tone I want it. After the miniature dries, we will use Ceramite White to dry brush some highlights on the gray horns. I apply it just on the tips of the horns as you can see. I use it to create some reflection effect in some bent parts of the horns where the light would hit the model. I do not paint the green horns. Then we'll paint the eyes. I start by dry brushing Astaroth Red to paint the glow of the eyes, and I do that before I paint the eyes base to save some time. Repeat that for all eyes. Once it's done, we're going to paint the base of the eyes with Mephiston Red. This will be the first layer of red, and we're going to use a lighter tone afterwards to make the reflection. Quite simple layer, just use your brush and try not to hit the model that is already painted. The next step will be done with Wild Rider Red. We will use it to paint just a little circle inside of the eyes to create a difference in reflection. Once it's dry, we will dry brush more Macridge Blue to start a gradient on the fur parts. Apply it on the hands and repeat the same for the tail, tights and the shoulder.
We are going to paint now the hands and legs with long beard grey. Dry brush it lighter than the horns this time to create some highlights, just so it's not fully black. Then we use ceramide white to paint the base of the nails. Don't worry if it looks too white for now because we will shade it afterwards. Now we're going to use Cronus blue to continue the highlight of the fur. We're going to apply only on the most elevated areas of the fur and mostly on the front part of the hand because we want it darker as you go behind and we're going to do the same for the tail. Not going all the way to the butt, and the same for the ties. Once it's done, it's going to look like this. You can see the highlights being formed, bringing it this nice texture. For the next part, we will use ceramide white again, for more highlights on the front of the hands. I start with a fine brush, and I wasn't liking the results I was getting, so I switched back to dry brushing with the white. I do the same for the tip of the tail and ties. Finally, we'll mix Drakenhof Nightshade and Casadar and Yellow like we did before to paint the shade of the nails and remove that white tone so it matches the horns. Then both parts will have the same tone since in my mind they had the same material. For the hand itself, we will dark everything with Drakenhof Nightshade to bring the nice, dark and almost alive blue tone that is Menus for. We're going to apply this on the hands and the remaining parts of the fur, including the tails and ties. The next step is going to use new oil to darken the hands and other parts of the model that you would like to darken at this moment. Then we will move on to the weapon. The base of the weapon is done with Hinox Hide and I dry brush over the primer to keep the dark tone of the brown. The first highlight that we will use will be the Gold Fag Brown. With this color, we will highlight everywhere so you can see the details of the mace appearing. Still a bit lightly to keep the dark brown appearing on the weapon. Then we will use Zendry Dust to add some depth to these highlights to keep it different from the other wood textures that I normally do. And finally, the last highlight of the weapon is done with Elder Flesh. I use this one in only a few specific parts to be like the light reflection of the weapon. The last part is cleaning the base with Abaddon Black, but that's basic, so let's skip to the final results. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any constructive feedback, questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to drop in the comment section below. Let us know if you painted or intend to paint menus using any of the tutorials, and I'm curious to see if those are helpful for you. Also, hit the bell button to get a notification when the next episode is up. See you next time!